Peggy 16. This is James Kostovsky speaking. If you're listening to this, it means we're both still alive and our enemy is still out there. They asked me to talk about Malden, about what the island means to me. Well, you know I'm not the type to dwell in the past. Heck, the amount of time I was stuck in memories isn't longer than the lifespan of the M3 Lee in battle. Many of the places I visited during my career were just a battleground to me. But now that I think of it, the soil from which the Malden trees are growing is the same land into which I buried my friends years ago. And it hurts. If it wasn't for the operation, those boys would have been at home, sharing a cold one with their sons, watching their grandchildren's first steps. I remember blood soaking the ground, bullets burrowing deep into thick walls, but none of this could change Malden's ever-present serenity. It only took a few years for the land to bear crops again, for the fire pits and houses to be lit. The island is everlasting, not like you and me. Yes, we left a mark on Malden, and it imprinted itself onto us. I do have a memory, goddammit. Reminiscence of La Cine. The silhouette in Daybreak's Mist still sends chills down my spine. And to be honest, I never saw a sunrise as impressive as the one ascending over the red roofs of La Trinité. These scenes are buried deeper than the bodies of our enemies. But after all, it's just an island. A bunch of stones in the ocean. Just another stop on our way. I think that's all there is to say. Remember, protect your country. Kostowski out.